from the ways of being saved, from the methods of being saved and protected from Dajjal, I'll say some of them for you now quickly, inshallah. The first and foremost way of staying safe from Dajjal is to seek refuge from Dajjal. The Prophet ﷺ used to say in his tashahud and his dua, he used to say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min athabi jahannam, wa min athabi al-qabr, wa min fitna til mahya wal mamad, wa min fitna til masihi al-dajjal, to seek refuge from him. Whoever memorizes the first ten ayat of Surah Al-Kahf, other ahadith say the last ten ayat, ultimately the whole of Surah Al-Kahf is best. Whoever memorizes the Surah Al-Kahf, the first ten ayat, and recites it regularly, you will be saved from the Jal. If you do come to meet, well, Billah, may Allah protect us all, come to meet the Dajjal, then you are supposed to recite unto him the first ten ayat of Surah Al-Kahf. From the things that will create to protect you from the Dajjal is to not have anything to do with him. To not go close to him, to not to look at him, to not to be entertained by him, to not to even give ear to what he has to say. The hadith says, Man dajjal fal yan'an. Whoever hears of Dajjal, let him stay very far away from him. For Allahi, inna rajula la yatihi wa huwa yahsibu annahu mu'min. A strong believer, a mu'min will come to Dajjal and he will think, oh, my iman is fine. But because of the fitan and the tests Allah Azza wa Jal, or because of the powers that Allah will give the Jal, he will change his mind and he may even start to believe in him because of the shubuhat and the confusion that the Jal will be sent with. Meaning stay away in all forms, entertainment, listening, taking seriously. These are some of the advices that we have.